Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Butch Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with a review of the Chevrolet sale, including a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the Mazda CX-5 and the Hyundai Tucson as they go head-to-head. -head. We'll also have the latest developments in the local auto industry, as well as the highlights of the recently held Mercedes-Benz GLA launch in Greenbelt 5. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus, and we'll be right back after this short break. for your favorite car models and stand the chance to win autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your Automobile of the Year and this year's Autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Chevrolet. Realizing that the subcompact sedan market is fast growing in the country, Chevrolet is entering into it head on with the all new sale. It arrives packing numerous smart and convenience features, dependable power, and a stylish design. Let's get to know more about the latest offering from Chevy Philippines in this week's Car Review. Developed specifically for emerging markets such as the Philippines, the sale flaunts off a composed design with Chevrolet's dual port grille. It also sports swept back headlights, a sculpted hood, and front fog lamps. Over at the side, it features sharp character lines that add to its bold design. The range-topping 1.5 LTZ gets a more aggressive tone by sitting on a 16-inch gunmetal alloy wheels. The sale is also the first one in its class to come with a sunroof allowing drivers to enjoy the fresh air when driving on the open road, perfect when on a long trip. Inside, the Chevrolet sale is practical and intuitive with its touchscreen infotainment system and 16 user-friendly storage compartments. The touchscreen system, standard in the 1.580 LTZ, provides seamless smartphone integration on its 9-inch color display with phone mirroring, natural voice recognition, and Bluetooth streaming audio. 
The straightforward and sporty interior is finished in jet black and come with power windows, a three-spoke steering wheel, a USB port, and a power outlet. With a body made up of 5.7% PHS hot rolled steel, tensile strength 1300 MPa, the sail is strong and durable, yielding not just better cornering stability but better occupant safety. It comes standard with anti-lock brakes and electronic brake force distribution, driver and passenger airbags, and Isofix child seat anchors. And speaking of long trips, the front non-pierced struts and rear torsion beam axle makes for a smooth and comfortable ride. The sail is available with two engines. The base 1.3 liter engine packing 100 horsepower and 127 newton meters of torque. Meanwhile, the 1.5 liter featured here gets dual variable valve timing that ups the output to 109 horsepower and 141 newton meters of torque. Both engines feature an integrated timing chain, more durable, stronger, and longer lasting than a typical timing belt. Priced competitively, the sale meets Chevrolet's highest levels of quality, including 2.8 million kilometers of simulated road tests. Backing this up, the sale comes with a generous 5-year or 100,000 kilometer warranty program. The Chevrolet sale arrives as an interesting alternative to first car buyers. Not only does it have a sleek and clean styling, but it's also packed with all sorts of features that make it a class above the rest. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. For your favorite car models and stand a chance to win autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your automobile of the year in this year's autofocus people's choice awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. Happiness. Happiness times seven. The all new Honda Mobilio. Ease of use. Flexible interior for your various needs. Convenient features. Advanced technology. Powerful engine. Fuel efficient for a smooth journey. And sleek design for you. The all new Honda Mobilio. Ordering today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. Welcome back to Auto Focus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. 
On the cards, Philippines Incorporated announced that the recently launched all-new CRV has been awarded a five-star safety rating by the ASEAN New Car Assessment Program for Southeast Asia or NCAP. In a release statement, Honda said that the all-new CRV achieved five-star safety rating from an outstanding overall score of 88.8 out of 100. The new ASEAN NCAP assessment includes a frontal offset impact test, side impact test, and evaluation of safety features such as the Honda Sensing. According to Honda, the all-new CRV is the first model of Honda to be awarded by a five-star safety rating under the new ASEAN NCAP assessment 2017-2020 protocol. So we just recently launched the all-new CRV uh, this August, and we are proud to announce that we received a five-star uh, ASEAN NCAP or ASEAN uh, New Car Assessment Program for Southeast Asia market. So there's all-new CRV received a five-star safety rating. A lot of factors contributed to the CRV getting a score of uh, over 88 points. The first of which is the body structure which Honda uses. So we use a G-Con body structure. So the body structure is optimized to absorb the impact of a crash. And this is supported by other uh, safety features like uh, airbags for driver, the front passenger, uh, side airbag and side curtain airbags. And other safety features like a VSA or vehicle stability assist. Uh, you also have the Honda Sensing, which is available in the top-of-the-line uh, SX uh, all-wheel drive variant. So the combination of all these safety features uh, helped the new CRV get 88 points for the ASEAN NCAP or a rating of a total rating of five stars. So this is the first model to be awarded five star safety rating under the new ASEAN NCAP assessment or their assessment for 2017 to 2020 protocol. So for Honda, we always support safety uh, and safety for everyone is very important whether you're a passenger or you're a pedestrian. In our local operations, we support uh, the One Honda Road Safety Campaign as we value the importance of safety for everyone. So for riders, for those uh, motorcycle riders, for those in the vehicles, and even uh, all the public. Meanwhile, the on-site voting for Autofocus People's Choice Awards recently took place in Robinsons, Manila, last August 19 to 20. Mall goers who voted for their favorite automobile models found the on-site voting as a helpful tool for car owners as well as for the car companies. I think it's important to get feedback from the public and it's important for the auto dealers to understand why one vehicle was selected over the others. They can go back and they can see that to modify theirs and it's always best to cr help create a better product for the consumer. This is a good one because it helps us, you know, learn more about the vehicles that you're, you're promoting. The on-site voting will resume on September 16 to 17 in Robinson's Antipolo where voters get a chance to receive autofocus merchandise items upon voting. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. For your favorite car models and stand a chance to win autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your automobile of the year in this year's autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road? Or off-key? Do you use your great power with great control? With a new Isuzu D-Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough to be right back.
The Suzu D-Max, tough enough for anything. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile, TV, and online magazine. We'll have more news about the auto industry still up ahead. But in the meantime, here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. For this week's head-to-head, -head, we pit two small SUVs which have a lot in common. From Japan, we have the Mazda CX-5, a relatively newcomer in the segment. This is not Mazda's first rodeo of the compact SUV market, with the Mazda Tribute being sold in the market from 2002 to 2009. Over at Korea, the Hyundai Tucson, now in its third generation, this popular Hyundai has been a best-seller for the brand since its introduction 12 years ago. How do these SUVs stack up? Let's take a closer look. This week's Head to Head puts the spotlight on two popular compact crossovers, the Hyundai Tucson and the Mazda CX-5. Let's start this Comparo by first taking a look under their hoods. The two have similarities when it comes to engine options, both being available in gas and diesel variants. In the Hyundai Tucson, its gas engine is a 2.0-liter Theta 2 engine that produces 155 PS and 192 Nm of torque. Its diesel engine, meanwhile, is a 2.0-liter CRDI unit with 185 PS and 402 Nm of torque. The Mazda, meanwhile, has three engine options to choose from with two gas units and one turbo diesel. It starts with a 2.0-liter Sky Active G engine with an output of 155 PS and 200 Nm of torque. Higher up the range is a 2.5-liter Sky Active G engine that puts out 188 PS and 250 Nm of torque. Topping the CX-5 range is a 2.2-liter Sky Active D turbo diesel with 185 PS and 420 Nm of torque. Both are available with either front-wheel or all-wheel drive, with the latter being available in their respective top-of-the-line models. The Hyundai holds the distinction of being one of the few compact crossovers in the market that can be equipped with a 6-speed manual. The automatic transmissions for both the CX-5 and the Tucson are 6-speed units. Both have similar suspension setups with McPherson struts at the front and multi-link at the rear. Inside, the Tucson follows the Mark's T-Design dashboard layout. It is upright and formal, with the center stack being aimed towards the driver for easier reach. Top-of-the-line models get leather seats with 8-way power adjust for the driver and 4-way for the passenger. On top of that, it also gets automatic climate control. As for the rear seats, it gets 60-40 split and rear passengers are treated to their own set of aircon vents. Information is provided by a TFT multi-input display with various menus plus steering wheel mounted controls for convenience. 
The Bass that meanwhile caters to those looking for a sporty flair in their crossovers, who the dials further accent its feeling, as well as a driver-centric center console. The sporty feel is further enhanced with red ambient lighting. For the Mazda, it gets power seats for both driver and front passenger, leather trim, multi-information display, multi-function steering wheel, automatic climate control, and 60-40 split fold seat. As for entertainment, the Tucson uses a 4.3-inch LCD. Functions include CD, MP3, auxiliary input, Bluetooth, and USB, and audio is scored through six speakers. Smartphone users will also be able to integrate their devices to the infotainment system with the option to store and save contacts. Moving to the Mazda, it is equipped with a 7-inch monitor that can be controlled by the scroll wheel or by touch. The monitor also houses vehicle information such as fuel economy, average speed, diagnostics, and the service manual. Functions for Mazda's infotainment system includes Bluetooth, MP3, auxiliary, and two USB ports. Sound is channeled through six speakers in the entry-level variant, while the top-of-the-line models gets a hi-fi Bose sound system with nine speakers. It's now time to take a look at each SUV's exterior designs, starting with the Mazda. The CX-5 features the Mark's Quota design study with more aggressive lines and sharp angles. The signature hexagonal grille makes its presence known with a large Mazda logo in the center. Unique headlights and defined creases give Mazda's compact crossover contender a sporty look. More creases and lines can be seen on the side while the rear continues the sharp angled theme with its sporty looking taillights. The Hyundai Tucson also features the brand's latest design philosophy, dubbed Fluidic Sculpture 2.0. It emphasizes aerodynamics while incorporating sweeping lines from bumper to bumper. A bold grille takes center stage, which is then complemented by a pair of slim headlights. This aerodynamic take on the crossover carries on to the side and rear with slim windows and a tapered rear section. With an emphasis on practicality, the tailgate of the Tucson has a low lift over height and propping the sides of the rear quarters are a pair of slim, distinct taillights. On the safety check, both have ABS with electronic brake force distribution, stability control, and traction control. Both also have a full range of airbags for the front driver and front passenger, as well as side airbags. On to variants, the Mazda CX-5 has five models to choose from, which range from 1,345,000 pesos to 1,985,000. These are the 2.0 FWD MAXX, 2.0 FWD PRO, 2.5 AWD Sport, and 2.2 AWD Sport Sky Active D Turbo Diesel. Moving to the Tucson, there are also five variants that are available, which range from 1,088,000 pesos to 1,558,000. Tucson variants are 2.0 GLMT gas, 2.0 GLAT gas, 2.0 GL CRDI, and 2.0 GLS CRDI. A 2.0 GLS CRDI with all-wheel drive is also available on special order basis. What we have just compared are two crossovers that offer style, substance, and practicality in spades. As the Hyundai Tucson and the Mazda CX-5 have shown, crossovers don't have to be square to be practical. With wide model range selections, there will always be a CX-5 and Tucson to suit your needs. More about the automobile here in Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the Autos of the World, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of your automobile electronic magazine, 
we have the 2018 Jaguar F-Type. Watch this. Recognized as the most dynamically capable, performance-focused Jaguar, the F-Type sports car continues to evolve. With a fresh look, state-of-the-art infotainment system, and world-first rerun app that combines vehicle data with GoPro video to enhance the driving experience. Since its launch in 2012, Jaguar's all-aluminium two-seater has firmly established itself as the best-selling sports car in its segment, in its home market, and has won nearly 160 awards worldwide. The unrivaled balance of seductive design, stunning performance, and outstanding dynamics has always made the F-Type unique. In a range that has evolved to include coupe body styles, manual transmissions, and intelligent all-wheel drive. The new F-Type range offers even more driver-focused technology and a broader model range than ever, comprising 28 derivatives from the purest appeal of the rear-wheel drive, 340 PS F-Type to the 200 mph all-wheel drive F-Type SVR Jaguar's all-weather supercar. Every F-Type now features the TouchPro infotainment system. Its super-fast responses, intuitive tablet-style operation, intelligent navigation functions such as share estimated time of arrival, and online services such as real-time traffic and live weather reports make every journey more rewarding and put a world of information at the driver's fingertips. True enthusiasts will be able to capture and share the driving experiences using the new Rerun app developed in collaboration with GoPro. In a world first, a rerun combines real-time video from the driver's GoPro with key vehicle performance data including speed, throttle position, gear selection, braking force, and G-force. The high-quality video, including unique highlight sections, can be downloaded to the driver's smartphone and shared on social media. To mark the introduction of the new F-Type range, Jaguar has developed the exclusive 400 Sport Launch Edition, which will go on sale worldwide but for one model year only. Power from the new 400 PS version of the 3.0-liter supercharged V6 engine is complemented by an upgraded chassis comprising the super-performance braking system, configurable dynamics, and 20-inch wheels with a unique dark satin gray finish. We'll have more news about the automobile and its industry after we pause for another short break. I'll be right back. Vote for your favorite car models and stand a chance to win autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your Automobile of the Year and this year's Autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. Happiness. Happiness times seven. The all-new Honda Mobilio. Ease of use. Flexible interior for your various needs. Convenient features. Advanced technology. Powerful engine. Fuel efficient. 
for a smooth journey and sleek design for you. The all new Honda Mobilio. window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. Welcome back to Autofocus, the show for the automobile enthusiast and back to more auto industry developments. Hyundai Asia Resources Incorporated, or Harry, reported that it closed its July 2017 sales with a record high of 3,594 units, a 21% growth from the same month of 2016. According to a release statement leading Harry's impressive July performance in terms of volume, is its passenger car segment, which grew to 2,564 units in 2017. The significant jump in sales is again attributed to the Accent, which sold 1,608 units, accounting for 45% of total Harry volume. Meanwhile, the light commercial vehicle segment also posted significant July year-on-year -year sales growth of 52%, to 1,030 units. This is attributed to the H100, which closed the month at 287 units. And finally, Bermas Auto Philippines, or BAP, the official distributor of Mazda vehicles and parts in the country, reported another record-setting feat for the brand, this time for the month of July. Uh, we track our sales, uh, I might as well give you until July, that's when we last closed the month. It's been a pretty good year, decent year. We closed at above, around 14.5% above last year. Roughly around 2,500, we shipped around 2,500 cars at the retail level versus 2,200 last year. Year to date, July sales of 2,521 units is 14.5% better over the same period last year and is the best sales period year over year for the company. The second half this year, it's uh, pretty exciting. We sold down the previous CX-5 and we just launched a new CX-5, so they're all coming in. Uh, those two models that have the cars that are coming in starting from this month to the rest of the year will be the new CX-5 and the new CX-9. So we have pretty good allocation and production coming in from Japan, while the Master 2 and Master 3 has been doing really well this year, in fact. Both Master 2 and Master 3, the facelift for this year, 2017 model, outsold last year. And that's been quite strong, so we're quite pleased with that. Bob adds that with the recently launched Master models, they believe that the brand will continue its sales growth in the market. We have a lot more about the automobile coming up. In the meantime, here's our what and where to have them for our car enthusiast on Automart. Here now is Automart with products and services geared toward the automobile enthusiasts. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions, the WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph. 
or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA. Across White Plains for Moto's opening year promo of greatly reduced prices. Out and out, car aficionados do not patronize just any custom shop for upgrades. Speed Lab has been in the business of setting up and sprucing cars for so long that it has become an institution in the local motoring scene. Custom built headers, racing filters, Unichip programming and installation, dyno testing are just some of their specialties, which also include preventive maintenance solutions, overhauls, fleet maintenance, and even fuel economy testing. For your next car upgrade, check out Speed Lab located at number 11, Pagataan Street, Banawe, Quezon City. Those who have similar notable products and services that appeal to auto enthusiasts, you can have them showcased on the Autofocus Automark. For placement, just call STV at 633-4422. Automark, products and services for the automobile enthusiasts. your favorite car models and stand the chance to win autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your automobile of the year in this year's autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. When you sweat to be sweet and you clean our seat, it's love. it's love. When you try to look cool, but you look like a fool, it's love. It's love. It's love. It's love. Show your love with the new features of the all new Innova. Love the journey. Welcome back to Autofocus, the electronic magazine exclusive to the automobile and its industry. And up next is this edition's special feature. Fierce power comes to town. This is Mercedes-Benz statement as a new model arrives to the Philippine market for the customers to look forward to. Mercedes-Benz has officially unveiled the all-new GLA in an event held at the Greenbelt 5 Fashion Walk. As the first compact SUV for Mercedes-Benz, the GLA has brought a breath of fresh air to its market segment and established itself as a major player. What we have here right now on my background is the new uh, GLA 200 AMG line. So this is one part of uh, what we are uh, introducing right now in the market. The GLA is part of what we call the uh, NGCC family of Mercedes-Benz. NGCC means uh, new generation compact cars. And this was the last one that was introduced in the market way back. 
Right now we are in the mid-cycle enhancement. We have major changes on the vehicle, exactly on the uh, headlights. Right now it comes with the LED. Before it was bi-xenon headlights. And you will see it's a different design already on the front grille, which comes with the perforated two louvers, which make it more SUV looking at the same time, more striking and sporty looking. Mercedes-Benz presented the all-new GLA with a progressive design, serene day-to-day -day motoring, and a good off-road capability. According to Mercedes-Benz, the GLA has been reinterpreting the compact SUV segment since its debut in 2013. Hey, our tagline is growing up. So basically, it's uh, for younger people, young at heart also, and at the same time, we're capturing all these younger people because Mercedes-Benz is perceived always as an old man's car. But right now, we're moving forward to the future and at the same time developing all our product, which offering more to the younger people. That's why you will see the design is basically for younger people. Yeah, so para mahikayat sila. launch, the refreshed GLA showed an extended range of engines, targeted visual accentuation in the interior and exterior design plus updated equipment lines. It has improved styling, sharper features and a host of comfort and smart equipment. what you see on the background is uh, the GLA 200 which comes with a 156 horsepower with 215 Newton meter and we have the other one version will be also available in the market which is the GLA 180 it's a inline four cylinder it comes with 122 horsepower and 200 Newton meters well we're targeting basically the compact segment and specifically in, in this uh, luxury segment uh, side and mainly competing with the uh, BMW X1 and the uh, Audi uh, A3 so uh, so I think this uh, GLA would uh, bring a very nice uh, competition in the market The compact SUV looks much more powerful with its bumpers. Additional light alloy wheels and the new attractive color characterize the 2017 vintage at first glance. The GLA thus visually underlines its SUV genes to an even greater extent than before. They can visit all four of our dealerships. We have three dealerships here in Manila and we have uh, one in Cebu. So they can visit our showroom in Green Hills, in BGC and in Alabang, and one in Cebu. So they can go anytime. Yeah, they can offer test drive, yeah. Surely the arrival of the all-new Mercedes-Benz GLA gives the customers and car lovers another reason to be more enthused about what's in store for Mercedes-Benz in the future. We now come to the final page of our electronic magazine as we again put on the spotlight concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. This time we train the spotlight on the Kia Stinger. Let's take a look. At an 
event typically dominated by introductions from American auto companies, Kia Motors America stole the spotlight with the world debut of the all-new 2018 Kia Stinger at the North American International Auto Show. A five-passenger fastback sports sedan poised to redefine a segment currently populated by European automakers, the Stinger promises to be the highest performance production vehicle in the company's history and is backed by Kia Motors' industry-leading quality and reliability. Offered with multiple engine and drivetrain configurations and luxurious accommodations, the Stinger is planned to go on sale in the U.S. late this year. Pricing will be announced closer to the vehicle's launch date. Instantly recognizable as a direct evolution of the concept that preceded it, the all-new 2018 Kia Stinger design was overseen by Peter Schreier, Kia Motors' chief design officer and his talented team of designers in Frankfurt. Ride and handling development was looked after by Albert Bierman, head of Kia's vehicle test and high-performance development, and its group of engineers in Korea and on the grueling Nürburgring racing circuit. But what makes a true Gran Turismo? This question was the foundation for a years-long journey that began when the GT concept was first unveiled at the 2011 Frankfurt Motor Show. Although every Kia design study has a purpose, the GT concept was something considered by many outside the company as little more than a dream for a brand known for producing mass market transportation rooted in value. But the GD ignited embers of passion that sparked a fire within the organization and over the next five years that fire would grow beyond fantasy and morph into reality. While both engines are still under development, the standard 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder Theta 2 engine produces an estimated 255 horsepower at approximately 6,200 rpm. Max torque of 260 pound-foot is available from 1,400 to 4,000 rpm. Performance credentials are further enhanced through the available 3.3-liter twin-turbo V6 Lambda 2 engine, which is anticipated to produce 365 horsepower at an estimated 6,000 rpm and offer max torque of 376 pound-foot from 1,300 to 4,500 rpm. Kia is targeting 5.1 seconds to 62 miles per hour and a top speed of 167 miles per hour with a twin turbocharged V6. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your automobile electronic magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been your host. Watch Gambola.